Good morning. Today we are going to see the EDTA method. EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Now this EDTA is method is used to determine the hardness of water. So the principle is the calcium and the magnesium ions which are present in the water they are responsible for hardness. The metal like the calcium and magnesium they forms the complex with EBT indicator and then it forms the stable complex with EDTA. So it forms complex with EBT and then the stable complex with EDTA due to which it is called as the complexometric titration. Now in EDTA method, we are using disodium salt of EDT as it is soluble in water. Now we can see the structure of EDTA. Now here we can see ethylene that is CH2CH2 diamine. Here we have written nitrogen and nitrogen. So ethylene diamine tetra means four times. So here one. 2, 3 and 4. These are the acetic acid. So, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. We can see here the metal EDTA. Now, metal EDTA means the EDTA which forms the complex with metal. The metal, it may be the calcium or it may be the magnesium. Now, this metal EDTA is an hexadented ligand. Hexadented ligand means it forms the bond with the six atoms. Now this six atoms or we can say this six ligands in which we can see the four oxygen. One, two, three and four. The four oxygen from the acetic acid. And the two nitrogen, they are electron rich. So this four oxygen and this two nitrogen, they form the bond with the metal. The metal is electron deficient, whereas the oxygen and nitrogen, they are electron rich. And they can donate the bond towards the metal. And hence we say it is a hexadented ligand. Now in this solution or in the experiment, we are using the disodium salt of EDTA. Here we can see disodium means this is one sodium, this is the other sodium. The same structure of the EDTA with the two sodium. So it is said to be the disodium salt of EDTA. Here we see the procedure. Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid forms the complex with calcium and magnesium as well as with many other metal cations in aqueous solution. For experimental purpose, what we are using is the disodium salt of EDTA. We are using this disodium salt because it is soluble in water. The experiment, it consists in pipetting out 50 ml of hard water sample in a conical flask. We are taking 50 ml of water in a conical flask. Then add 10 ml of the buffer solution. This buffer solution is made up of ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. Now we add buffer solution. To maintain the pH 10. After that we add 1 to 2 drop of indicator. That is erichrome black tea. Due to which the solution acquires faint red. That is wine red color. Here we see a conical flask. And this solution gets wine red color when we add the indicator. Now EBT it is an alcoholic solution of blue dye 
alcoholic solution means the ebt is prepared in an alcoholic solution and it forms the unstable complex with calcium and magnesium so when it forms the unstable complex with calcium and magnesium which is present in the water the color changes to wine red now this indicator that is ebt is effective only at ph 10 now here we can see some of the reactions like this is the metal it may be the calcium or magnesium which is present in the hard water now this is an indicator that is erichrome black tea so when we add it in a water we get the wine red color now this ebt is effective only at ph 10 now this metal ebt complex with the wine red color when we titrate this with edta we get metal edta complex means it just starts forming a complex with the metal edt and this ebt which is blue in color it starts forming in the solution but still some of the calcium and magnesium ions are still present with the ebt due to which the solution is still wine red in color so we start titrating again or we can say we continue to titrate it with the disodium edta till the color changes to blue so we titrate with edta solution that is the disodium till we get the blue color now the end point is wine red to blue see here first it was wine red and then it became blue in color so the metal ebt complex so this is a metal ebt complex when we titrate with the edta solution that is disodium edta we titrate it till we get a complex of metal edta means all the metal like calcium and magnesium they forms the complex with the metal edta and this ebt which is blue in color again compacts so the solution forms the blue color as all the calcium and magnesium they forms the complex with the metal edta so the advantages of this is it has greater accuracy it is more convenience and the third is more rapid procedure in brief we see a burette a conical flask the burette with edta solution a conical flask water sample buffer solution and the indicator now see now in the conical flask take 10 ml of water plus 5 ml of the buffer solution so we add the buffer solution which is made up of what ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide now why we add the buffer solution to maintain the ph 10 after that we add 2 to 3 drops of indicator erichrome black so when we add the indicator the color changes to wine red then we titrate it with 0.01 normal edta solution so we titrate it till we get the end point that is the wine red color changes to blue so this was a chart by which it was convenient to know you about the edta method thank you